Welcome to this uh, Windows and Computer channel and this is a uh, quick video to explain a decision that I took today that is on my main PC. So um, my main PC, the one that I do the videos with most of the time and that I use every day for work, is on the November 2019 update and it's been there since um, you know, for, for a little while now. But, um, you know, we are mid, almost mid-February 2020. We know that version 2004 of Windows 10 is April. And it might actually start rolling to seekers even next month in March. And so we know that 19041, the build for Windows 10 version 2004, is official. That's the build. And it's getting the same cumulative updates as of security and, and bug fixes as the other versions of Windows. So my decision today, as of February 13th, 2020, I am moving ahead to 20H1. I am moving ahead to what will possibly be the April 2020 update or version 2004. That means that starting with later today, when I actually I'm going to start the process after this video, I will be in the new version. I've been comparing the menus, comparing things, so there's a few new things in version 2004, of course. But I've been comparing the menus also, and since there's not a lot of differences, I realized that it would not impact much of my uh, series of videos on the Settings app because there's very little difference, and if there are, they're probably going to be minor, and you're still going to be able to see what e and, and check out whatever um, you need to to know about the different versions. So for uh, purposes of videos, of, of course, showing you in advance everything that's in the future of Windows 10, I am moving ahead on version 2004. So for those of you that are thinking, should I? Here's the first thing. You should not. You know, I do videos and I... I am here for that and for testing purposes and to show you if it works or not, if it if there's glitches or problems or I'm the guy living with those problems and talking about them to you. So I do it in the spirit of learning and of course showing you uh, at the same time the future of Windows 10. I would not recommend to anybody that has a main computer to do this, but if you have a spare computer on Windows 10 that you don't use much, why not? Why not move it ahead? And uh, to do so, what you need to do is go into the, um, basically what you need to do is go into the settings. You'll go into update and security. And on the bottom left, you have Windows Insider Program. You'll check that. And you will actually start, get started in the Windows Insider Program. You will link, of course, your Microsoft account because you need to do so to be in the Insider program. You will click Continue. You will have to choose your ring and to be on version 2004, the ring that you need to choose is the slow ring. That's where 20H1 exists. So I'll choose slow as it's recommended here. I'll confirm and I'll confirm that it's okay. And of course, I'll do the restart now after this video is over. So uh, that's the way you go there. And of course, uh, we'll talk more about that version. I'll come back, of course, with a video probably tomorrow, Friday, on how things went, how everything did go well or not on moving ahead. And of course, uh, give you my uh, personal observations as I moved on to the next version of Windows 10 that will be released for everybody starting this April. Enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.